So in this video we're going to take a look at mounting a blank on the lathe and just generally the, how the lathe is laid out. The headstock here has the motor which runs the lathe itself. Um, it connects to the blank through this part here, the forked centre, which will key into the wood and, and spin it. Now all the controls are on the side of the headstock. When it's switched on you should hear the extraction should come on, it will be interlocked. Um, if it doesn't, let someone know because there's an issue there. You've also got the controls, so you'll see the dial controls the speed that the fork centre is spinning at, which will in turn control the speed the blank is spinning at. Certain things you want that to be quite fast, but other things will want to be a bit slower, like sanding for example. Um, you always want to be standing on this side of the machine, closest to the headstock while you're working, so you can access these controls, and in particular, so you can access the emergency stops. You've got the two red buttons up at the top, you've also got the foot switch down on the floor if your hands are busy when you need to stop the machine. Now the tailstock on the other side holds the, the blank in place and supports it and keeps pressure up against the, the headstock to make sure it's spinning effectively. Now you can position that by slacking off the handles and moving it into place and then again tightening the handles back up. You've got this wheel at the back which will add a bit more pressure by pushing this piston forward and holding the blank nice and securely against the forked centre. But again, once you've done that, make sure once it's in position you're tightening these up again. Uh, the tool rest again, unlock it by un, you know, loosening off the handles and then move it into the position you need and lock the handles again. We'll come back to the height of this in a second, but it is quite important that you set this up properly. Now the extraction up at the top helps deal with the dust and the wood lathe does generate a lot of dust so make sure this is in position before you start. Now we've covered how to manufacture the blank in a previous video but the side that we've sawn down um, is the side that keys into the forked centre. You can see we're positioning it here. We'll bring the tailstock up into position and ultimately that's going to just support the blank uh, on the back and going to provide a little bit of pressure to hold it up against the fork centre to make sure that it's not going to come loose while we're working. Again though, we want to slacken the handles, make our adjustments, tighten the handles and lock them back up so that it doesn't come loose while we're working because that's a problem. Next we're going to position the tool rest. Uh, we want to move this in and around about halfway up the piece of work. If it's too high or too low that can cause problems and again if the gap between it and the wood is too big there's, there's going to be issues there. So just try and keep it about 10 mils. Um, after that's in place, again, lock it once it's adjusted, bring the extraction in and make sure that's in position. 